Oh boy. Forensics case number 23, the taste test. Entertainment has a knack for showing people doing reckless things, like an investigator who tastes an unknown powder at a crime scene to determine what it is. Is this depiction accurate? Can an investigator really identify a substance just by tasting it? The short, obvious, ironclad, and undeniable should be common sense answer is absolutely, positively, 100% no. This is so wrong across the board, and it leaves a bad taste in our mouths. First, if you're a faux fan, you know we've mentioned many times the importance of wearing proper PPE for safety and to prevent contamination. Wearing gloves is pretty much Forensic Science 101 and you'll never see an investigator put their bare hands or fingers in anything, either at a crime scene or in the lab. Second, it's definitely not a good idea to put an unknown substance into your mouth or anywhere near your body. And you don't even want to think about it if it's biological evidence. All joking aside, it's very difficult to visually tell the difference between a safe substance, like salt, baby powder, or baking soda, and say, fentanyl a synthetic opioid estimated to be hundreds of times more potent than heroin. Another common TV practice sees investigators applying suspected cocaine to their gums to see if it numbs. This has the potential to be deadly, as drugs can be cut with other substances to make them more potent. Also, an unknown substance doesn't necessarily have to be put in your mouth to have an adverse effect on the body. Overdose or even death can occur with unknown powders that can be breathed in or even absorbed through the skin. All of these unknown variables make it vital that investigators identify unknown substances with their tools and not their taste buds. Tasting evidence to identify what it is may look cool on television, but in reality, one bite could be deadly. Tastes like forensics to me.